In this episode of Budget TV, we're going to be talking about aircraft collisions. Uh, they're on the increase and uh, we're going to look at you know, the, the near misses. We're going to look at the collisions, uh, see what the stats are this year compared to last year and give you my take on what could be happening, what could be the cause. And then we're going to look at the recent uh, collision that happened between two private jets at Houston Hobby Airport on the 25th of October of this year. So, um, if it's the first time for you here on Budget TV, lots of information here about private aviation. Uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, get the commentary going, and also below you can subscribe to our newsletter. We're, the, we're putting out weekly now, and there's lots of information there. And also get yourself a copy of the Quantum Economy. Uh, you need to join the Quantum Economy these days if you're an entrepreneur, and that will speed things up. That's why it's called Quantum. Uh, really, you know, not exp uh, exponential growth for your company. In this book, there's a story of a number of companies that are using private jets, and they've joined the Quantum Economy, and how they're doing, and how they use the jet to make money. Um, and so that's certainly one you can click on the link below to get yourself a copy of the quantum economy And if you have already got a copy, please write a review um, and we really want to get the word out there So my name is Robert Tsukwani, I'm an aviation advisor and uh, aviation strategist So let's get into what's been happening now if we look at the numbers of Near collisions that happened last year in 2022. There were 23 for the whole year while this year so far there have been 46 uh, Now that's basically double. Uh, so what's happening? What's happening? And these are between airliners. So uh, the FAA are investigating this um, and it could be to do with some could say it's pilot experience because a lot of um, experienced guys retired. Other people are saying it could be because the pilots had to have certain things done to them uh, because of COVID um, and a lot of pilots opted to have this thing done and this may be affecting the cognitive abilities um, and so this is causing the the, the collisions and, and the near misses which are on the increase now that is certainly something worth investigating nobody's actually saying this at the moment um, I'm just throwing that out there um, being careful what I say so let's get the commentary going below here what do you think um, so what can you do what can you do well of course fly by private jet that's certainly make it a little bit safer but even if you fly by private jet let's see what happened in Houston Hobby Airport now the Hawker 800 XP was on runway 22 um, and it was sitting on the runway and they decided to take off they hadn't been cleared for takeoff and an aircraft uh, Citation Mustang was landing on runway 13 right so as you can see these runways intersect as you can see from the video um, and basically the Hawker took off without clearance it, its wing clipped the tail of the um, Mustang. No one was hurt. The Hawker went into the air. Air traffic advised them. Uh, they came around and landed. And then the airport was shut for quite a while after that. Um, now, the good thing on this, no one got hurt. Two aircraft got damaged. Uh, now, why did this guy take off without a clearance? And here again, it could be something to do with what we'd said before. Maybe the pilots have undergone this this medical thing that you know a lot of people did um and consequently that's been affected or it could be and probably is uh the fact that you know they were in a rush now i always say to people you're not buying a plane you're buying time but that doesn't mean you should be cutting corners and and have this we've got to go we've got to go we've got to go itis or get their itis as i call it because this can cause a lot of accidents so the pilot may have the pilots may have understood that or under yeah understood that you know they were clear for takeoff when they weren't and so off they went tearing down the runway and they managed to uh, not hit the airplane completely the other airplane clipped the tail clipped their wing um, and got airborne but this could have been an actual catastrophe so we're lucky that you know it didn't turn into a catastrophe but i think at fault here i'd certainly say the the hawker pilots but there again let's look at avionics uh, for example a certain aircraft modern aircraft today have avionics have a thing called tcas on board where you can actually see the other airplanes on your radar screen in front now the visibility uh, was pretty good but you know you may not be able to see that far down the runway but on your screen you can see the other traffic so um i think you know phraseology over the radio in america is a bit lax compared to over here in europe we're very very pedantic over here the way we do things the way we're taught how to speak over the radio uh, the americans tend to be a bit more sporty about it um so you know being very careful on how you use your phraseology and making sure that you've understood air traffic control and things like that and, and that crew coordination needs to be you know working well um if one pilot says we clear for takeoff 
clear for takeoff are you sure if you're in doubt you know ask air traffic again you need to hear those words you know hawker whatever it was you're clear for takeoff runway 22 and say hawker 800 blah blah remember to charlie clear for takeoff runway 22 you need to repeat that um so the controller can hear that you've said to him okay we're clear for takeoff and if you're not he can tell you right away to stop um so this type of communication needs to happen so be interesting to hear what the pilots were saying to each other in the cockpit it'd be interesting to hear our traffic control what they were saying uh, as the investigation progresses but you know certainly here um the hawk 800 xp i don't know what type of avionics they had on theirs if they had a an upgrade for the proline 21 uh, which would then give them on the screen the other aircraft i don't know if they had this on their aircraft but here's the benefit for example of having a more modern aircraft or an aircraft with modern avionics you can buy an older airplane these days and upgrade the avionics so you've got this system you've got this thing which will increase the pilot's situational awareness awareness just interrupting the video very briefly because here on bizjet tv we're giving out lots of free general information about private jets and the private jet world but if you are really contemplating buying a private jet let's help you to make that decision in the best informed way by getting very specific specific to your case and to do that just ping me an email and we will schedule you in for a one-to-one -one call and help come up with the right strategy so that you your team your family can start joining that quantum economy so ping me an email let's get on a call let's get back to the video off we go and situation awareness is a really really important thing you've got to be aware of you know not only of yourself of your colleague that you're flying with also about you know the environment around you what airplanes are there above you below you in front of you behind you um the terrain you know the wind the weather um so this is this all plays into situation awareness which is really really important uh because this could lead to an accident like like happened here uh, over in houston so this is kind of you know my take um so it's interesting to see that there is an increase in in aircraft collisions and near misses um at the moment compared to back in 2019 um and since 2019 and now we're in 2023 if we look at the stats we can see that this is uh, uh, getting worse and worse and so what can we do to uh, put something in place to stop this from happening and certainly the modern avionics can help uh, talking over the radio and being a bit more professional in the way you uh, talk over the radio i think can be important you know reading messages back talking to each other cool coordination so the crm important the communication with air traffic control and the avionics i think those three things will help to prevent this from happening and obviously the pilots need to stay healthy and be careful what they're putting into their bodies this is really really important what you're putting on your body and in your body is so important um, these days because it keeps your mind active and when you're flying a plane you really need to have an active mind so that's all from me here on this episode of bizjet tv i hope you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already let's get the commentary going and get yourself a copy of the quantum economy and also subscribe to the newsletter and you can get the links to those two things down below and if you enjoyed this video i'm sure you'll like uh, the next one which is another accident that happened uh, the story is told here by the owner of this honda jet who actually uh, had the crash at, at houston airport same airport uh, a few months ago uh, so check this video out about the honda jet I'm sure you'll uh, like this and then there's a whole string of videos here on aircraft accidents which you may want to look into if you're looking to buy a private jet you need to really understand the dynamics of accidents and why they happen and that's all for Polizia Poly here on Bizjet TV and I'll see you on the next one